On this Infinity Kingdom video, I'm going to tell you which troop types you should train to avoid to make mistakes and having to dismiss troops along the way. I will be also giving you a super important tip for when you will upgrade your troop tier that will save you many, many resources. Let's get into it. Before, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy my content. It really helps the channel out and it's 100% free. Let's go! Hello everyone, I'm Wick Gaming and welcome to another Infinity Kingdom video. Today we are going to talk about the troop types. As you already know, we have four different troop types. Bowmen, Shieldmen, Cavalry and Spearmen. The Bowmen do not beat any troop type and they are also not beaten by any troop type. Then we have this triangle that shows the counter relationship between the other three. Cavalry, Counter Shieldmen which counters Spearmen, which counters Cavalry. A troop is made by four Immortals and one Dragon. We have a front row and a back row. In the front row you can pick two Immortals who lead either Spearmen, Cavalry or Shieldmen, while in the back you must pick two Immortals leading Bowmen. We will speak about the elements in another dedicated video, but of course, if you have a troop composed by Immortals and Dragon having the same element, like I have here for Earth and Water, you will obtain extra buffs. So having to choose two Bowmen Immortals means that you essentially need more Bowmen. When you attack something on the map, from Gnomes to other players, you will lose troops. Now, Bowmen will not die in a double ratio compared to the other troop types just because you have double the amount. It all depends from the troop type you are facing, for example a strong Spearman Immortal will inflict a lot of damage on your cavalry, then it depends on your personal buff for that troop type, the tier of units you are using and other factors. But in general, I think the first unit you should be upgrading is your Bowman, because they represent the pillar, the most important troop type in your unit. For this reason, you always need to make sure that you are training Bowman. As you can see, I have four troops here. The fourth one I have unlocked recently. You need to focus on one main unit and try to make a second one stronger at the same time, like I'm doing with my Earth team. But really, use all of your resources to focus on the main one. My main one is a water unit and in the front, as you can see, I am using Ramses, who leads Spearman, and Attila, who leads Cavalry. It means that I will not need to train Shieldmen, otherwise I will fill up my training grounds with units that don't die in my battles. You only need a minimum amount of the troop type that you are not using in your main march. Minimum because you still need some in case other immortals in other units you have lead that specific troop type. For example, in my second march I have Richard, who leads Shieldmen. In my third march I have Charles, who leads Shieldmen. And in my fourth march, I have both Harold and Hannibal, who lead Shieldmen as well. But you don't need to count how many you need. Just go over to the training grounds, then click on troop and see if the usable number is more than zero for that specific troop type. In my case, I have 3593 usable Shieldmen, so it means that I have enough. Now let's briefly speak about the unit tier. We have 5 tiers of unit, from 1 to 5, with 1 being the beginning one and 5 being the latest one, the strongest. The higher the troop tier, the higher the cost in resources to produce it. How to upgrade the unit tier? Well, you may think, ok, I will do that by researching in the academy, but not quite. You actually automatically convert your unit tier to the next one whenever the building that trains that specific unit reaches a certain level. For example, I have unlocked my Noble Bowman or Tier 4 Bowman when my Bowman Barracks hit level 30. When I hit this level, my Tier 3 Bowman automatically converted to Tier 4. So my best suggestion for you is that you max out the capacity of your training grounds until you cannot train one single troop more. In this way you will convert the maximum amount of that unit type to the next tier. Because if you don't do that, 
you will need to train the next tier of troops directly and that will be much more expensive than training the previous tier. But with this trick, you will have a full training grounds of the next tier by spending the amount of resources of the previous tier. I hope this video was helpful. Please consider supporting the channel by slapping a like on the video and subscribing because more tips and tricks like this one will come soon. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!